in order to test the uh, randomness for particular samples we can make use of the runs test so students i'll be giving you the demonstration on to a real life example where we will be testing that whether the sample that we have considered is that random or is it not a random sample so this data that is being shown to you it is a departure from normal of daily temperatures recorded at atlanta georgia during november 1974 you are required to test whether the pattern of departures above and below normal is the result of a non random process now if you can see that departure from normal temperature are being calculated some if you just see some are positive where some of them are negative so by taking this data we are required to calculate the runs on the basis of the positive and negative deviations or departure from the normal temperature now students if you just look into this data i have arranged this data the way it was being shown to me so if you just look into the first you know 1 2 3 4 5 6 observations they were showing the positive deviation from the normal temperature so it would be treated as run number 1 now if you just move on to the next value it is negative so it will be run number 2 if you just move on to the next value this will be run 3 then we have the negative deviation or departure from the normal temperature the run would be 4 and so on we would be taking the last set of values that are all negative 6 total values so the total number of runs we have had for for this particular data they are 8 so students as you can see that here our criteria is to consider the run on the basis of the facts that the values are being changing so symbol yahan change as such nahi ho raha you have had the numerical values but unki jo deviations hain they are moving from the positive to the negative that is why we are considering them as being runs so there are a total of 8 runs in this data and now in order to test that whether this data is showing any departure from normality we are required to they make up the pair of hypothesis so under h not we consider that the pattern of occurrence of negative and positive departures from the normal is determined by a random process whereas under alternative hypothesis we state that departure from normal is actually uh, not the part of the random process under step number 2 we have alpha which would be taken as 0.05 under step statistic we are required to consider the total number of runs in our data there were a total of 8 runs in the data now this r value is to be compared with the critical value of the runs test now students here n1 represent the positive values there were a total of 17 positive values if you scan your data and n2 is the uh, that stands for the total number of negative values there were 13 in total so from the runs test table the critical values would be taken as if you scan n1 was 17 so looking into uh, our, our table where you would have your n1 as being 17 and your n2 is being taken as 13 so before that you would be getting a pair of values as being 10 and 22 so it is somewhat showing here so your lower r tabulated value is 10 whereas the upper r tabulated value is 22 so students aapne two tail test ke liye criteria jo design kiya tha uske accordingly if we just test we are required to reject h not at alpha level of significance if r is either less than or equal to the lower critical value ye aapki lower critical value hai 10 or if your runs total run value or the calculated value would be greater than or equal to the upper critical value so students aapki upper critical value 22 hai agar aapki calculated value se zyada hui ya is value se 
टेन वैल्यू से छोटी हुई देन यू वुड बी एबल टू रिजेक्ट योर नाले प्रोसेस ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द एविडेंस नाउ आर आर वैल्यू इज एट सो दिस इज योर आर डेट यू हैव कैलकुलेटेड फ्रॉम द डेटा इट इज वेरी मच लेस देन आर लो टेबुलेटेड वैल्यू दैट इन आर केस वॉज टेन सो इच नॉट विल बी रिजेक्टेड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द एविडेंस वी हैव हैड एंड वी कैन कंक्लूड दैट द पैटर्न ऑफ अक्रेंस of temperatures above and below normal they are not following the random process so we cannot make use of this data for further analysis of this data under any non parametric statistical test because the data is showing the non randomness